Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, right now, I sound like, mm, I'm a little sick right now, but I was off today and I was like, man, I wanna film and I've just been filling some drama, some glitter. So um, I was kinda inspired by a few makeup artists um, that I follow online. So I just kinda morphed it all together. I don't play with color a lot and honestly at all. Um, I've done a color look like a long time ago and I'm just like, I need to get back into color. I need to get back creative. So this is something that I created. Um, I mean, I'm not like the original creator, but this is what I did. Um, I decided to play with some color, but it's still like not too much color where it's like, you can't wear this out because I would definitely wear this out on a daily basis. I used all affordable products for this and I hope you guys enjoy. You know, I try to always incorporate some affordable products for you guys because you know you do not have to bake break the bank to slay so hope you guys enjoy this i really liked how this turned out and this could definitely be a nice holiday look a nice new year's look so i'm definitely going to try to create some looks like this for you guys um at the beginning my camera did i wasn't recording so it kind of just already jumped into eyes um but you will see all the voiceover and i will show the colors that i use but without further ado let's get into tutorial so like I said in the intro, the eyes cut out when I was doing my brows and everything. So I did show you the colors that I'm going in and just kind of redoing what I did uh, that wasn't recording. Uh, so this is the Forever 21 All Matte Palette and I'm just pretty much taking all the blue shades in there. I'm taking uh, a darker blue than the one I put in my crease. Honestly, uh, if you see my eye set, I do not have a defined crease. So I kind of have to mock define a crease. So I'm going in with a Cara K17 brush and a Morphe M443 brush. And just kind of blending that in in my crease. And then I'm going in with the Morphe brush and going in with the darker shade. And really defining the crease area as you would say um, honestly when I open my eyes I don't have a defined crease so I usually have to mock and kind of pretend that I have one so this is a way you can do it just definitely uh, kind of disperse your transition shade and then go in a little bit denser with a different brush just so you can mock cut a crease or kind of mock define you a crease if you do not have one Next I'm going in with a deep brown shade and the dark purple shade just to kind of mix them together and get the perfect dark blue shade for the outer crease color. Um, I'm definitely using this to define the outer V just to get some more depth into this look. Honestly we're just using all blues so it's really hard to try to separate all the colors which is why I'm playing around with the darks and the lights to create dimension. Then I just go in with the light brown shade just to blend out the edges of my crease just so everything will be blended and won't have a harsh line. Then I am going in with a NYX paint pot or eyeshadow base in neutral and I'm using this to cut the crease. I'm not going to cover my whole lid with this. I'm just going to use to define my lid and also to cut the crease. Um, you can use this or you can use an eyeshadow uh, whichever is easiest for you. Then I kind of go back in with my blending brush to kind of blend out the crease and I do it the same with the other eye. And I love this technique. Definitely elongates or makes your lid bigger if you don't have big lids and I honestly don't have big lids. Um, they kind of hide away once I open my eyes. Now for the fun part, I'm going in with this glitter glue from Sally's and also the glitter is from Sally's. They're honestly about a dollar each and I really like this glitter and the glue is definitely uh, nice for the price. Um, but I definitely want to branch out and try different other glitters and glitter glues. I just used the base to map out where I'm going to put the glitter. So it kind of wiped off as I put on the glitter glue but that's totally fine because it's going to be covered up. So as I'm going in, I'm just going to pack on the glitter and that space where I mapped out for my lid. So 
So once I'm done, I was going in with my crease brush, but I did it a little too fast and some of the glitter that wasn't really stuck on the glitter glue kind of got all over. So just be careful if you are working with glitter, just make sure you use something that sticks. Now I'm going with mascara. This is the MAC Zoom Lash. It's my favorite MAC mascara. Um, I tried this a long time ago in a sample and I just end up purchasing the entire the full size whatever you would like to call it and I'm just using this to prep for false lashes you will see that I will show you the lashes that I'm going to use these are the Halloween lashes that I use I was telling you guys about um, I still haven't found the name for them if I do I will list them down below they're honestly my favorite dramatic lashes now for skin using the baby skin uh, pore primer to minimize my pores and give a school skin have a dance break I was listening to Drake radio on Pandora my favorite radio station had me hype y'all for foundation I'm using the Milani conceal and perfect and this is in golden tan if you guys know before I use tan but golden tan is definitely closer to my skin tone I love it it's definitely full coverage I'm using a oval brush uh, and a beauty blender for both of these I'm still trying out the oval brush or whatever you guys like to call them. I got this from my Loki Beauty Supply for about $8. Um, I love it sometimes and sometimes I love my Beauty Blender. Um, so I'm just kind of using both of those tools to give me a flawless finish. Now to conceal, I use my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC45. I really use this. It's honestly a great color corrector. Uh, if you notice, I do have some dark circles under my eyes. So I use this first before I put on any other concealer because it's very thick and full coverage. And I use it as a color corrector. It definitely hides some of those dark spots. And then I uh, go over it with a different concealer. I love this method. I've been doing it for a while now. Um, so I really like it. Then I'm going in with LA Girl Pro Conceal in Fawn. You guys know this is my jam. I love this concealer so much. I love those concealers in general. Um, so I definitely think you guys should try them out if you haven't tried them out. So I just do this all over in the areas that I kind of concealed before and color corrected. And then I go in with my beauty sponge to blend that out. Here I am popping on my other lash. My routine is so out of order. I put one lash on and do part of my face. Then I put the rest of my face on, do the other lash. That's just how I do it through the day, through the morning. So I just kind of stuck through with this routine. Then here I am blending out my concealer. Um, I'm making sure I'm blending it all well and that it's no harsh lines. And then I will go in to set it afterwards. To set it, I'm using the Airspun powder. You guys know how I feel about this, but I picked up a different shade. I didn't know they have different shades. So this is naturally neutral or something like that. Honestly, I don't see a difference. I feel like they're still really white and powdery. So I am on the hunt for different translucent powders or setting powders, but this one is better than the translucent. Then I go in with my Max Studio Fix powder. You know, I'm hitting pan hard on this um, to dust away the powder and kind of give my face more coverage. And it just kind of helps blend away that white cast that this powder uh, gives off. Now to bronze or contour. I'm using Max blunt it is a blush this is honestly my favorite you guys i found a new contour powder uh, other than my l'oreal so i've been obsessed with the mac blunt 
I love it so much. They're super creamy and blendable. And I'm just using an angle brush to kind of go through that and put that on my face just to add some more color back to my face and some dimension. This is honestly my favorite part. You guys know I go ham on this. Now going back to finish up eyes, I'm going in with that blending brush and it's kind of taking a few of those blue shades and mixing them in just to do my lower lash line. Nothing too dramatic, but I am going to drag the color down. That's because you guys know I really don't wear eyeliner, so I always put my eyeshadows at the bottom just to complete the look and I really liked how this turned out. Sometimes I would think the color would be a little too much, but if you add the right amount, it would be nice and I think this turned out nice, not too heavy or too dramatic. Then I'm just going in to finish off the eyes with some mascara. And this is still the Max Zoom Lash. Now to highlight, I'm going in with the LA Girl Velvet Highlight Stick. I want to say this is in Luminate. And I use my finger to apply this just so I won't go directly with the stick. And I kind of use this to blend it all over and melt the product on my fingers just so there won't be any harsh lines once I put this on my skin. So I use this first as a base. I really like these. Um, if you guys haven't tried them, um, they're really affordable and I think they're a really nice base for a powder highlight. Then I'm going in with Makeup Revolution Peak Lights Highlighter. This is like the perfect combination, like it is a bomb. Uh, I've been using this combination for a while now, so I really like it. Now it's time for lips, so I'm going in with a MAC lip liner in Chestnut. I mean, come on guys, when will I get tired of a brown lip liner? I probably have them in every shade, they're just my favorite. To do any type of lip, I just can't get enough. I love them so much. Then I'm going to go in with MAC Lipstick. This is a matte lipstick in Naturally Transformed. It is a super pale nude color, but this is honestly my jam. Like, I love super pale nude lips, but I love pairing them with some type of brown lip liner. Like, that is my fave lip combo ever. So I kind of do that and then I go back in with the lip liner just to kind of give it a nice ombre effect. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really loved how this turned out. If you guys like dramatic looks like this, just let me know in the description below. But I hope you guys have a great holidays. Also, I'm going to set my face with uh, MAC Fix Plus and then boom, you're done. Gotta go into the slow mo, gotta be dramatic. You, you just gotta do it. Alright y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe for more videos. I'll catch you guys next time.